In this episode, I go over my new to me 2013 LTD Jeff Henneman 600. Stay tuned. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, again. And today, I went crazy just uploading a bunch of videos. Uh, but the good thing is that you guys were able to see my new LTD JH600. So, just like you guys, especially if you're old, um, then you probably grew up with Slayer. You know, I'm talking about back in the 80s. Uh, I want to say that the first song I ever learned was... Um, Wake Up Dead by Megadeth was one, was the first. The second was We Gotta Know by the Cro-Mags. And third was Black Magic by Slayer. Um, so I, you know, even my buddy Roger, my buddy Ty, you know, I skateboarded. I grew up with those guys. You know, I started listening to Drunk Engines in the mid 80s. Uh, huge skate band, just like McRad and... Eventually got into, you know, uh, I steered away from Agent Orange and more into Slayer and Megadeth. And one of the first albums I ever bought was Hell Awaits by Slayer. And I remember going into the store a few blocks from my house and bought the cassette. Uh, and I think it was just a few days later um, that I just started my new adventure into Thrash, getting into Anthrax. Um and you know that whole genre which was you know if you're if you were into metal that's what you played uh and listened to in the mid 80s so fast forward a number of years and unfortunately jeff passes away um so since i started playing again in 2016 you know i've always looked into jeff's guitars and the issue that i always had is that they're really expensive if you get one made by ESP. So, you know, I've always been an ESP guy. You guys know that. I know that. My whole family knows that. Lord only knows I have a bunch of ESPs right next to me. So, uh, you know, I end up getting LTDs. And thankful and grateful that their guitars are so well made. They're so, I mean, they've impressed upon me at such a level that I went from legitimately super hating them to absolutely loving them and having literally a little collection of LTDs. Um, so it started with the LTD M1000 when I bought one and was pretty sure that it had to be a fluke. So I found myself getting another M1000. Literally, it's twin. Everything is exactly the same. The years are off by, I think, three. I think one's a 2005, one's an 08. Um, but they are rock solid. And that those two guitars are literally what made me realize, like, hey, these higher-end LTDs are literally like my ESP Customs. Um, and... You know, eventually ended up getting three LTD EC 1000 Deluxes. And you guys may not remember this. You probably have to go back to, like, some of my first videos. Uh, and I don't even know if I have them there. I know I have some in my uh, Instagram. Uh, but I actually had, at one point, three uh, Gibson Les Pauls. So I've always liked the Les Paul shape. Got rid of my Les Pauls. Uh, and then got um, Paul Reed Smiths. So... I am coming back to the shape with the LTD line of uh, Eclipses and same thing, fell in love with them. They are the, the quality, the build are just top notch. It's crazy. Um, or, or maybe it's not crazy. Maybe I'm the crazy one that didn't think that they were ever good enough, uh, but they're absolutely incredible guitars. So of course 
Uh, a huge shout out to my boy, Philip, uh, who is just like, bro, weren't you looking for one of these guitars? And Guitar Center was selling one at a great price uh, over in somewhere in California. So he sent me the link. I l literally bought it like two minutes later uh, and couldn't wait till it got here because, you know, you guys know Guitar Center. You know, you you punch in, especially in their used section, <laughs> you could type in uh, EVH 5150 Stealth and here's a, a 50 watt Stealth. And it's just like, yo, we're selling it right now, son, for $249.99. Pick it up if you want a 50 watt EVH 5150 Stealth. And you're like, ah, son, how did everyone miss this? You buy it. Sure enough, the photo is of the 50 watt and you end up getting the tiny little mini lunchbox. Uh, so they are notorious when it comes to things like that. So of course I'm, you know, I'm going, I'm looking at the photo. They only have one photo and it, it's so far away. It's the equivalent of standing 25 feet away from a photo or, or an image. And it's just a tiny thing. You click on it. It doesn't even pinch zoom in. So you can't really see the details. But the only thing I could tell is that the fret markings below the 12th or above the 12th, from 13 to 24 have the dagger. So I knew that it was a JH 600, that if they send me a JH 200, I'm going to have to fight someone in California. Um, and the description stated that it was going to be in good condition, or maybe it was excellent condition, something like that. So I was just like, let's see, yo, this guitar came in. It was in mint condition. Yo, this is a 2013. So whoever had it literally put it in their guitar case maybe they used it a handful of times i'm telling you it didn't have even those fine lines it had barely any um and when i say barely i'm talking about you know have a guitar at guitar center for a month and whatever lines and streaks that you, that are found on that is exactly how this guy arrived uh so i was in shock you know at the price and the fact that this thing showed up and it was in mint condition so of course i had to worry about the, the uh, shipping because how many guys do you know or have read about where they ordered a brand new guitar i don't know they spent fifteen hundred three thousand dollars thing shows up shattered headstock broken off uh body neck smashed in half um, yeah, so, you know, I was just like, ah, get here, hurry up, uh, and it arrived, and it's absolutely amazing, so the first thing I did was, of course, I threw on the 24 volt, uh, 24 volt, um, uh, battery pack, because I had a bunch, a uh, huge shout out to my boy Chris out in New Jersey who sells them, I'll put a link below to his eBay store, so you can buy them, um, I put that in there immediately, Change the strings because it was tuned to E, but it was like nines, you know, so I threw 11 to 56s and down tuned it to C sharp standard. And the thing is an absolute monster. I oiled the, the fretboards uh, or the fretboard, the frets. Uh, that was perfect. I cleaned the tuners, the entire neck, the body, absolutely perfect. Mint condition. It's crazy. And then played it and it sounds like an animal. So if you, and, and this is one thing that steered me into the JH 600 was talking to uh, another, someone who was either in the ESP fanatic page on Facebook or the LTD guitar group. Uh, but I, someone posted a photo of the ESP George Henneman, um, model along with the LTD, uh, JH 600. So I was just like, bro, I don't know a single person that has both. So do tell like, which one do you like? Which one is better? And in his case, he bought the, um, the ESP model first. So he fell in love with that and was just like completely mind blown. Then he bought the LTD JH 600 after, and I was just like, all right, drum roll. Right. And I was like, which one is better? And he's like, yo, they're both exactly the same. And what was more impressionable was the fact that he said, 
if I had known that the LTD was exactly the same as the ESP, I would have saved money by not buying the ESP. I'm like, really? And that's huge. You know, you say something like that, you're basically saying, yo, the only difference is one says ESP and the other one says LTD. One is made in Japan. The other one is made in Korea. That's it. Um, so this guitar is actually neck through body. It's a three piece and it's just an absolute monster. So I've been talking for 10 minutes. I just had to tell you the story, blah, blah, blah. Bear with me. You guys know me. I'm a talker. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy in. I will be using my Kraken that is going into my Boss SD1 and that is running into my KSR PA50 50 watt power amp uh, and let's go rip. Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? So, again, listen, like I said, if you are considering getting an LTD and you are an ESP snob, Lord knows, bro, I've been there. I was totally that guy. But if you are a Jeff fan and you're really not interested in shelling out four, five thousand dollars $5,000 on an ESP model, yo, get yourself one of these LTDs. Yo, like I said, listen, I've never held an ESP Jeff Henneman model, but I met a guy and chatted with a guy who owned both, and he's like, meh, meh, they're both the same. I should just sell my ESP. So, um, so you know, I take it for what he, you know, the 
you know, I'm not going to go and, and try to buy an ESP and see if he was right. You know, I would hope that he was just like, hey, this is basically exactly the same. And then, of course, I went on Google and other people have said the same thing, that it's basically exactly the same, different factory, different luthiers, um, and it's basically the same template, same everything. Just a different guy did it. Um, so, but huge, you know, guitar, if you uh, are still considering getting um the 24 volt packs again i'll put a link below to chris's ebay store uh it's worth it dude they're 10 bucks it completely brightens up your emgs uh it gives it life it gives it depth it's just a completely different animal yo uh, get yourself a dodge ne uh, a dodge neon throw a supercharged engine in it along with a turbo kit and nitrous that is what the 24 volt uh, battery pack does for EMG pickups. Um, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, click on the links below, check out, uh, Greg blocks, uh, funny YouTube channel. The link's going to be below. Check out truck driver, Sean, check out Hector, uh, Guzman, uh, who I bought the Fortin sigil from. He's awesome. And if you're into recording, you have to check out his channel. Super, you know, he's so gifted. Uh, he owns murder the mix studios in New Jersey. Uh, but definitely check out his link below guys. Thank you so much for helping us reach a million views and hit the subscribe button. If you haven't, I will be adding more videos this week. So make sure you hit the stupid bell. Ding, ding guys. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you soon.